Hello. So my painting has dried and I've had a chance to put a sealant over top of it. And I use, um, what is it? Rust-Oleum uh, Spray Enamel Crystal Clear Gloss um, I use on the top. And I give that two or three coats and I let it dry about 45 minutes in between coats and then it's ready to work on. Um, you know, I can, I can mess around with it and the ink won't um, pull off when I do things to it. So the first part of putting the extra metallics on it is to put some gold leaf glue on it and let that set. And this is the kind I use. Um, I use a teeny tiny brush that I have even cut a little smaller um, so I can get a nice fine tip and then I just apply the glue and then wait and we'll add this gold leaf on later. So let's adjust this and see if you can see it right. There we go. And like I said before, I was anticipating to take this gold and move it around up into these areas to kind of extend it into these spots. Um, I, this is just a glue base and so if you end up not liking something it isn't in the end of the world you can remove it and um, let it dry I don't know if you can see yeah you can see it uh, the goal is for this to actually turn clear and for it to um, dry so you can use it later um, I do have kind of a plan, I guess. Most of the time, I kind of mix it in with whatever metallics I've started with. I like to add it to, sometimes I do puddles um, that extend into other areas. Now, I know on the bottle it says don't make puddles. I've always made puddles. Um, so I'm not really sure why the bottle advises not to make puddles, unless the fact that it just, it takes really long for these puddles to dry. So um, maybe that's it, because they don't, obviously if it's, if it's not dry and you're trying to put this metal leaf stuff on it, it will, uh, well, it just won't work. So I can see why they wouldn't want a puddle, but I, I certainly use them. In fact, I, I work with a lot of different puddly type of uh, shapes. So I've got some of that going on there. I've got a little tiny bit of interest. I've got a lot of metallic over here, so I really don't see the need to do too much. Again, all I do is I basically, I take a puddle and then I pull it. It's also kind of cool to give it, it just gives it a little more interest due to the fact that it, it raises up a little bit too. So it gives it a slightly raised surface when you're done with your design. Um, I don't keep my lines terribly straight. They follow, I try to follow the natural way the, the shapes move anyways. I just think that makes it look better. Sometimes I'll add a dot here or there to try to, you know, break it up a little bit. 
I just think it looks better that way. And sometimes I'll put a random, a random dot somewhere like, how about there? Just like a random dot. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I think I'm going to stop. It's easy to go overboard with this. Um, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to let this dry completely. They say a half hour, but when you do puddles like this, you might need longer, most of the time I do. So we'll come back and then um, I'll gold leaf it. Hi, so the glue that we put down for the gold leafing is dry now and it's clear so you can tell that it's ready to do its job um we have let's move this down so you can see it there we go um we have a the gold leaf um <laughs> I use an old baby wipe container, whatever works to keep them. They're super lightweight. Uh, the leaf uh, foil is super lightweight. And so you need to keep it in something. They separate it by these little tissues to keep them from clumping together. So you need something to keep it nice and flat. So you can see my fancy container here to keep my gold leaf in. And I use a brush. This is a, a paintbrush that I never intend to use for painting. It's soft and very, um, and just, just very light. And I've never used it for paint. I've only used it for doing this. So have a brush that you set aside, something that's good and soft. Okay, so what I do now, obviously, you can't see the the glue so where did i put it well actually i won't be able to show you on video but you'll be able to do it in real life get down to the edge hi get down to the edge and you can see across the edge of your painting if you look off to the side you can see the edges where the glue is it's um shinier shinier spots so when you're going to go put your gold leafing down you can leaf, put it down in these spots now some people use um, tweezers to put their gold leafing down i don't feel like that is necessary i just lightly pick it up and use my fingers to move it around Again, very, very light. It's, it would blow away if you weren't careful. And many times it does blow away. Just, just from breathing on it, you can blow it away. So I just lightly lay it down in the areas that look shinier. There's glue there. And as you can see, you can pick it up and kind of reposition where it isn't sticking. And since I sealed this, I can take my finger lightly over it and feel. Like I put a little dot over there. I can take my finger and just lightly press to see. This goes actually really quickly once you get going. Where do you buy the gold leaf at? Um, I bought it online. Actually, I just got it on Amazon. And I already showed you the glue. This is not hard to do. And if, if you think you're seeing something and you aren't sure, I just lightly Put it with my finger and pull it over. It'll stick. If there's glue there, it will adhere. 
It's super, super sticky glue. Talking about the glue being sticky, once you uh, put it down, you wanna make sure that you let it dry all the way. And, uh, do, but don't let that brush of yours, the little tiny brush you used for the glue, don't let that dry on there. You'll never get it off. Wash it as soon as you're done. Okay. I'm gonna run my hands over top of this just to make sure there's no places I'm forgetting. Okay, so now you're gonna take your brush and you're just gonna start removing. And again, this is sealed. That's why I sealed it first so I don't start scraping off. And you're gonna just start removing some of the excess. Oh, um, if you also notice, my puppy pad is gone. I've got a tray underneath here. It's a, um, you get it at an auto parts place. It's a um, oil drip tray. Um, and this thing is great. I put it at the bottom when I'm working with um, my acrylic paint the acrylic pour. I've got it underneath there. It has a lip on the side because if you can see, this gets messy. We've got a lot of these little flakes and they go all over the place. So again, I'm just going over the surface and you can see where the glue has stuck. And then I lift this up and I brush it off. Very good. Some of these are flatter. Some of these are crusty. I like it all. There you go. So now I have my painting with um, the painting that I originally did with alcohol ink. My goal was to make it a green painting with lar large cells that covered the surface this time with a few areas of busyness. I took the busyness around this side, around this side, kept it pretty still in the middle, and um, I incorporated the metallic mixed media uh, with the alcohol ink, but then also with the gold leaf to help make it all fit together. And it's on a painted glass panel. I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you enjoyed watching. And um, I'm going to make some more videos like this when I get a little more practice. Uh, editing and making videos. So thanks for watching. Bye.